everyone! We are going to be making a mosaic. So if you do not know what a mosaic is, I would recommend that you look up some ideas, some examples of mosaic. Usually they are going to be made out of glass or rocks, stones, tiles. Um, so get some ideas so you have a general base knowledge of what a mosaic is and then you'll be able to better understand how we're going to be making a bean mosaic. So what I did is I went to Sprouts, but you could really go to any grocery store and get some dried beans. So Sprouts was kind of nice because there was a lot of options and it was all visual for me. I could just pick some that I thought would be a good size for my mosaic. Um, and they're already prepackaged in bags for you. So I got some lima beans, but then there's also um, a bag of mixed beans that might be good. So if you had some more detailed areas where you need smaller beans for that area, a mixed bag might be a good idea. Um, or just whatever you have around your house. I would just make sure that this is not, um, that they're not a canned jar or anything that has water with the beans. Um, you want them to be dry and ready to go to be gluing onto your canvas or your piece of cardboard or whatever you end up using for the surface of your mosaic. Um, I'm going to be doing an animal for my project, but you can decide on any sort of simple imagery. So you wanna think something that has very little detail. So you're not gonna be painting with a tiny paintbrush or drawing with a pencil. You're going to be placing beans on your surface and creating an image. So you want these to be large shapes. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Um, I hope you have a lot of fun. For our first step, it might be a good idea to ask a parent for help. Depending on the thickness of your cardboard, it can be pretty tricky to cut. I wanna make sure that I have enough flat surface to work with, but not too big because I will need to fill the entire space with beans. But also not too small, I wanna make sure the beans will fit. When you're ready, sketch your simple design. I looked up animal clip art, but you can really draw anything you'd like. You want to make sure that your sketch is filling most of the cardboard. You want the animal to be, or whatever you drew, to be the main subject. I'm looking at a toucan, so I'm splitting the image up into simple shapes that I'm familiar with. So a bunch of ovals and maybe a triangle for his beak, you'll see as I go along. You can decide to also draw a toucan or draw anything you'd like. Just make sure it's simple shapes. You will be filling these up with beans later on. As you're working on your sketch, it might be a good idea to map out any changes of color in your animal. So I'm gonna draw a line and some shapes to show where there are changes in the color of my toucan. I might decide to either paint the beans or make sure the beans are the color of the toucan when I'm adding them onto my cardboard. It's okay to add your eye, just make sure that you're not getting way too attached to your drawing. You might have to improvise as we're going along with the beans and change your mind, and that's okay. Before I start gluing, I want to make sure the beans fit into my drawing. This might be where you have to erase and improvise. Now we're ready to start adding our glue. I'm using an old paintbrush to flatten out my glue, but this is optional. 
Then we can start placing our beans. I'm going to use the same bean for the entire body and make sure that they're all touching and covering the cardboard. You might have to add more glue as you go along and that's okay. It might be a good idea, if there's a change in color or a change in texture, to change the type of bean you're using and fill in areas with a different type of bean. But if you don't have different types of beans and you only have one, that's okay. We can let this all dry and paint the colors later on. Like I mentioned earlier, painting is optional. I was lucky enough to find beans that match the color of my toucan, so I don't really need to paint my beans black, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like here. It's okay if you paint a little outside the lines because we will be filling the background in with beans later on. You might end up having to do a couple layers Especially if your bean is not originally black and you're trying to paint it black, I'll probably have to do this a couple of times. It's okay if you lose a bean in the process, you can always add more glue, let it dry, and come back to it later. You might notice that this is pretty hard work as you're going along. You don't have to finish this all in one sitting, so take a break as you need it. If you're noticing you're getting a little frustrated, take a break, go walk around, take a drink of water, call a friend, go play outside, do anything to take your mind off of it, and then come back to it later. make sure my background is pretty simple so that my toucan stands out from the background. I'm making rows of lima beans or whatever beans you have. Just make sure they're sort of vertical or all horizontal and not turning a bunch of ways so that way you can really see your animal. Remember, anything you want painted, it's a good idea to paint before you add your background. Thank you for watching, I hope you had a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what you made.